My name is Renison Jeffrey. And this is the Workers' Rights Platform. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to report an incident that have been brewing in the Transport Industrial Workers' Union, in which, allegedly, a team of subscuits have been alleging that the executive is not following the Constitution and truth and in fact is following a dictatorial preset in which is unbecoming of unionism. Several questions have been raised today and what these members of TU is stating is up till presently none of the executives would have meet and treat with them concerning these issues in which they are alleged. However, today when we would have approached the office, there was a alleged strike that was taking place there. And everybody cleared the office. We don't know if this is a customary thing or if it is that there is a conspiracy to defraud you, the union members of Transport Industrial Workers Union, of your dues. Now, we are going straight into the events that would have taken place today in which a lot of members would have voiced their claim. We are, we, at this point in time, we are only going to give you sneak peeks and insight as to what would have taken place today. But tomorrow the 11th, we are going to release the full video unedited on our live. Stay tuned to the bus workers chat as for the time that we are going to launch this. But all for now, we are going to give you a peek as to the events that would have taken place today. Again, my name is Vanessa Jeffrey. This is the Workers' Rights Platform. And we urge you to subscribe to the channel. It's the only way and the only place, a matter of fact, is where you will get the best news and the unadulterated truth. Where is the reason why you're looking up the building, brother? Sir, I have no idea. I'm just here. I'm just here. With staff inside, they're locking up the building. Stop Stop the building. building. Oh. Is it, uh, uh, what took place for them to leave the building? Like I said, I'm just here. I'm just here. Alright. You take the orders from the president, Sean Roberts. He wants, so he's locking up the news members. Well, I want to know why we can't come in. Now nobody here with authority that can answer us on the side this time. The most of our members are staff on the compound. Is it that there are no members of staff on the compound? I want to find out how these uh, members could join. Well, we can't no. really go from the building. He just doing his job. It's security. These members, they're asking. So we need to, we need these things documented. Because as members, we want to know why we are not talking about it. What are they saying? We're trying to go in the way of instructions. We're making what they have. 
right? In our minds, the desk we need documents, we need things documented, right? We have our rights to have things recorded, we need the media, and this is the media we choose today, right? So up to now, they didn't tell us, tell you who gave you that directive? None. Up to now, the, all the matter how much we write and we ask for documents who who give the directive to start negotiations, up to now it's nothing. So let me ask you some this doc Presenting us for the longest while, and now that the shops that have been suspended, who is going to deal with my situation on my location? So I'm here this morning to ask the question of the to the executive, what is really happening to TIW? So what is the reason why they're locking up the office this hour? Monday to Friday, 8 to 4. But and it's Monday up. to Friday, 8 to 4. What is the reason and why? And because here come to get some... Business. You know anything about that, so you know and nothing about that? Knows. Everybody is cast by the friend, he goes. And that is why the whole of the South Street and them go out of reach here. Because so, the, so, so, Excuse so the members here want to find out that question, right? right? What? So you're locking off the building because it had nobody in here to run and take complaints at the officers, at the people that here. So the staff, the the staff, the but whole staff going meeting, so you're locking off the building. I was now here taking something, so how do you do all the same thing? Hello? You came here very peaceful. Very funny. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Can you, can you tell me why? Can you tell me why you leave any building? <laughs> and here you see it again. You are content. You are content. Don't want to give a count as to why she leave any building and nobody don't want to know. Um, give it a brisk, brisk. We are here because we there was a meeting on the 29th. We asked of September, come right? Yes. Right? Um, yes. We send e emails, um, correspondent asking this newly executive to provide us with some information that the the government has given the directives to start negotiations. We haven't received any correspondence like that up till today, presently. Right? And yet still, we have been, there is a bulletin, went out that, that this union, new executive, is disciplining us claiming that we interrupted negotiations, but yet still on the same bulletin had there were no directives from the principals. So then we said earlier we attended a meeting in the benefit of our membership and the executive would have embarrassed us by asking us to leave when we did not because this was for the benefit of the workers. They then left. Upon their leaving the meeting, we would have tried following them to get further directive from them. We were aggressively greeted by a comrade of ours, which is our chief negotiator. Upon us trying to find resolutions, we have, we have reached a stance where there is as if there are barriers between us and the executive. And we have absolutely no problems or queries with the executive at this time concerning their union activities, but they are querying our union activities. At this time, we are suspended because we are simply standing in solidarity with our workers. We were, natural justice was not followed for us to become suspended. We have outstanding matters that are on pause that we cannot continue to defend our membership. Members at this time are threatening to withdraw their dues because they are not receiving representation from the union. We are here today to ask our executive for us to behave as if we are a union. A union signifies unity. At this time, our executive are dividing us. At this time, our executive are attacking us. At this time, our current executive is ensuring that we are disrespected by the company that we are employed with. Our workers at this time 
they are adversely affected because we have matters of sexual grievances, we have matters of violations of our collective agreement, we have matters where there are health and safety anomalies. At this time, we are unable to assist our membership. We are unable to even write letters or documentation because we were removed from our posts prematurely without being given the opportunity to be heard. Explain. President Assault. It had a meeting took place with the Natuk March Friday gone. And it have a motion right now is on the table that stand that same executive for being he wanted to chair the ADCC meeting. Mm -hmm. And when the comrade raised the motion, I second it. And because of that, the city threatening of the motion just gave me a suspension letter. So you say you say it well, there was a match, right? Yes. Did anyone in the executive win the match? The executive said the the CC meeting is more important than the talk match. I was right there with my comrade Utley. Because the both of us is branch president and we are on the CC committee. So Utley, you could corroborate the story. Um we would have had a CC meeting on the third of March. Third of November. Sorry, third of November, my apologies. Um where we would have um it was also the day for the NATO match. Uh, come, the comrade would have raised the motion of Mr. Ryan Ramnath uh, being the GS. And based on such, the motion is still on the floor for the meeting, seconded by Ms. Strutman. It is still on the floor because the, the meeting did not continue after the uproar based on that motion. Right? And these presidents who was there that the membership would have been out on the march, we would have left to go and support the workers along with the suspended branch officials. We as branch we officials were not supposed to be going through this because we are supposed to come here to bring the grievances for the workers. Now we cannot, we don't have an idea what to do. The workers calling down our phones. We have to tell them that we suspended. The workers crying, asking me. So who will represent we? When the workers come, they can't get them an answer. So all this, this is all the things that we face in. And, and they have cut off the legs of the workers that we are the ones that run to the workers rescue. It is unfair to our workers at this point in time. And they are also paying members. For them to be able to come to get representation, the reason for our union is for workers to be able to be properly represented so that they will not feel a type of way in their job place. And it's a day in trade unionism. Trade unionism doesn't seem to be what we know it to be. More than eight shop stewards, along with presidents of branches, was suspended unethically, unprofessionally, and in contravention of the constitution that governs Transport and Industrial Workers Union, Article 22. We understand that there was to have, we were to have a meeting at the MTS head office on the 29th of September for negotiation purposes. We inquired to the executive if by any chance they received any directives coming from Mr. Cullum in both and our principles. We were never given any response regarding that. However, the executive would have liaised with one of our branch presidents who got the directives that we should enter the negotiation meeting. We were told that Ms. Gail Bellaran, the first Vice President of Transport and Industrial Workers Union, she is the person who is responsible for negotiation for our RMU. We were to be contacted by Ms. Gail Bellaran, this is what the General Secretary, Mr. Ryan Ramdat, would have advised us, that Ms. Gail Bellaran would be contacting us to advise us going forward regarding the negotiation meeting. We never received any contact information for Ms. Gail Bellaran, and Ms. Gail Bellaran did not reach out to the shop sales nor the branch president. So we assumed that we were in the clear to enter this negotiation meeting because based on our history, when there are negotiation meetings, even members 
are allowed to enter the negotiation meeting for observation because this is regarding the right of the workers. We entered this meeting and upon entry, one of our comrades was accosted by a member of the negotiation panel or a negotiator. I will not call his name at this time. Yeah. He was verbally assaulted and after that, Ms. Gail Balleran would have advised the executive to leave the meeting. We were abused by the executive. Ms. Gail Balleran and her daughter would have cursed and probably abused some of our comrades. When I reached there, I was witness to Ms. Gail Bellaran and her daughter verbally abusing our comrades. See, see now that is the case. Well, we are back. And you would have seen the video. As I would have said, the truth needs no defense. All you have to do is turn it loose. Stay tuned tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. Be a part of this fastest growing movement. Tomorrow, all shall be revealed. My name is Vanessa Jeffrey and this is the Workers' Rights Platform. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you.